there's a chance that this right now being recorded is a, a part of another episode, so yeah, welcome back if it is, and if it's not, then um, in Neversdale Forest here. I think that the, the, the Thunder Spider is going to be a better addition than the heroine. Mainly because these boars in this forest are really annoying. I kind of want the bodyguard to soak up damage because he can block and he's not bad at it. And I accidentally tapped my scroll wheel. See, there you go. There's the Thunder Spider's stunning abilities. Love the range of this claymore. Bodyguard is not doing any damage, really. But, uh, he's doing his job, I guess. He's not an attacker. That's kind of, like, my job. I forgot to mention that the Bodyguard may be uh, pretty much a tank, but he's not the tank of the game. The tank of this game would be the Knight. Once I get the Knight, um, I can pretty much... I'm not clicking fast enough, I don't think. Once I get the, ta the uh, Knight, I'll pretty much be able to completely, uh, use him as like a shield. This little part of the map, uh, it's not very... You, you might think that this is useless, but it has a use like later on in this quest line. You know what, this probably is actually... Ah, another victory for me! <laughs> this probably is actually a uh, another entirely different recording session. I'm going to quickly check around this island to see if there's anything on this part before going to the next one. Now, there's a whole bunch of Colonel Trout here. <sighs> Well, not really a whole bunch, but I think it's beneficial if you kill them now, then you do it later. Because, um... As, uh, I didn't show on camera because of jump cuts and stuff, but there's a river here, and there's a save point. And, uh, yep, there's a ferry here, but the ferry's on the other side currently. And when you cross over here, you are faced with a boss. And, uh, those Kunal Trow can actually... will assist the boss in, uh, killing you. So, you should probably take care of them as soon as possible. To give you a tactical advantage. God damn, those boar charges are deadly. Do not lock onto the mushrooms. I forgot to mention that there are four tiers for different things. I guess I'll go over them right now. Uh, the top one is like assistance and defense for sustainability, which contains the gouger, the crone, the bodyguard, and the enchantress. The one on the left is like utility, it contains the uh, rat. The Light Fairy and uh, two others. I can't remember what those are really. The bottom one contains the Warrior class. I think it contains the Heroine, the Mercenary, it contains the Brute and the Knight as well. Yeah, definitely, because those four are in the bottom. Elementals contains the Thunder Spider, the Fire Elemental, the Knocker, and the Behemoth. And, uh, oh yeah, the uh, Utility contains the Trap Master. And, uh, I, if I remember the fourth one, I'll just cut that in and say what it is. And now to the ferry. That's on this side. Welcome to Chubnik's Magical Waterway Transportation Service to... The Future. Are you serious? Not the first time I've been asked that question. Yes, you heard right. Chubnik's Magical Waterway Transportation Service will, for a modest fee... Whisk you not just across the raging Chubnik River, but also transport you into the future. How far into the future? Uh, that depends on how long it takes to cross the river. Oh, I get it. Nice scam. Nice scam. So you're going to take me across that little stream for some ridiculous fee when I could quite easily take your boat and cross myself, right? A wise man you are, that is for sure. But wrong you'd also be. I, of course, have taken magical precautions against such an occurrence. Any attempt by someone other than myself to use this boat, and it will sink into the river. Not until it reaches the deepest portion, of course. Only the tiniest fee is required to garner my services. Fifteen silver. Pretty much petty cash compared to what I've got. Seems like a fair price. I do get a bit squeamish aboard ships, though. Ready to board? Uh, this will actually go down depending on if you have um, more charisma. It's thanks to that stupid beer that I took, I don't have it. Aye, aye, Captain. So it's the basic price. Now keep your arms and legs inside the vessel at all times. You aren't pregnant, are you? No, of course you're not. The Thunder Spider, legs inside the drip, legs inside the thing. Valley contain over 1,000 types of flora and fauna. Let me point out a few. Oh, 
Be careful as you disembark. And thank you for choosing Chubnik's Magical Waterway Transportation Service. We know that you have a choice in your waterway transportation services, and we value your patronage. And the ferry goes back to the other side, so you can't take it backwards. So now we have to go get Kettle Swart. Prepare to die. I am Organ, the Chosen One. Nothing will stop me from my quest to save the princess and drive the evil from this land. How about you? And what have we here? Another chosen one? Off to save the princess? Oh, there's the chosen one, and he's dead. Congratulations. Brave talk for someone who picks on Crave Tarkwitz with more bravery than sense. I assure you that you will soon join him. Where did all these trout come from? Did that with my eyes closed. Stop attacking the uh, spider. Oh yeah, these are, uh, mages. I think that curse decreases your luck. Or speed. These mages have, like, a lot of bloody health, though. I need to summon that thunder spider again. This guy is basically just getting healed constantly by those mages. Can't block from behind, can you? Oh yeah, and they have high magic resist, so... Magical attacks like the Thunder Spider's Lightning are not very effective. You can't heal yourself, can you? Sorry if you can hear me mash and click, but it's kind of necessary, I suppose. Yeah, gotcha from both sides. How do you like that? Okay, now to loot the uh, X Chosen One. Daft young fool. What was he on about? Some sort of princess he was going to rescue? Uh, chosen One. Uh. He must have been out of his mind. The bard, of course, was overcome with sympathy for the poor, deceased young man. And he only had 15 silver. But he had with 250 a experience. Skill, or perhaps a tremendous amount of luck, the bard disposed of the murderous trowel. With a bit more luck, he might even come out the other end of the forest without an arrow coming out the other end of his head. Always the optimist. Now for one of the most important parts of the game. I bet nobody expected that if you've never played this game before. Yep, seeing Peary Trail. Also, my beer debuff has run off. And I believe... Oh wait, no. What I'm looking for is uh, in Kettle Swart's house. And the frame rate just suddenly tanked there. I don't know why. 
Wow, one out of stone. How generous of you. Come and get me, you meandering moron! Ketil, quit cowering up there like the frightened rodent that you are. Come out and fight! Ah, your mother's a furbug and your old man's a trow! You don't want to make me come up there. Save your singing for the sheep, you crooning coward! Okay, I'm gonna save and then fight Kettle because I want to check how much I've been recording in this on, session. You. Because I cannot see OBS while running this game because it runs in full screen pretty much only. 16 minutes, rarely. Okay. You ugly pug! Shut up! I'm gonna kill you. I don't know how Kettle can block that well. Yeah, Kettle's blocking is like super god moded. And he does a lot of damage for some- for someone with no weapon. Maybe the heroine wasn't the best choice. Come on, Thunder Spider, stun him. <laughs> there we go. No more! No more! Don't kill me! Uh, I was only kidding about your sister. Uh, I'll come with you. Put your hands behind your back. Now what? You won't be trying any of them preversions, will you? I'm making sure you can't run away again. Or, if you prefer, I could just cut you off at the knees. But you're the one who let me go! And now you're taking me back? Are you bored out of your skull or just wrong in the head? Ow! Stop hitting me! Would you prefer I start stabbing you? Now shut your mouth and come with me. With Kettle in tow, the bard moved on, hoping to avoid the trial and bring his prisoner back to Houghton. Yay, 330 experience. And smashing kettles, barrels, and pots. By the way, barrels and pots contain absolutely nothing in this game. Now, there are two pieces, two things you want to get. Actually, three, I guess, if you include this buckler. But, buckler is not very useful because I don't use shields. Nah, I'm just going to dispel the heroine anyway. So, in here, you get the eagle charm. This is actually a plot related item, and it gives one rhythm. But most importantly, you want this. The crone. Crone is like one of the best summons in the game. It's high tier and it's only outclassed by the gouger and the enchantress in terms of healing. Somebody in need of healing? Yeah, the crone heals your units, so it's basically the medic of the team. Really useful. What are you doing? The Kuno Trow are lurking everywhere. They'll kill you as soon as look at you. Untie me, and we might make a match, the pair of us. No. So basically, you need the crone if you're going to run fragile units like the Thunder Spider or the Knocker. Unless you have the Enchantress, which you definitely do not at this stage of the game, because Enchantress is very late game. So, the way that the the uh, crone works is she prioritizes healing you above your summons so that you don't die. Essentially, she allows you to play a lot more reckless than you normally could. Look, I'm playing terribly, not blocking anything, and she just stays back there healing me. Kind of like having a pocket mercy in Overwatch. Man, that guy had a lot of health. Yeah, I do not like these enemies, the uh, Kunal Trow riding boars. Very dangerous, these. gonna keep blocking until I get healed. <laughs> Wish I had heavy parry. This can't be. And I just died. Okay, once more with feeling. This time I'm gonna let them come to us. By the way, the crone cannot heal herself. Run away. Over here. In a moment, my pretty. Yeah, the crone's kind of a creepy old lady. At least she's good with healing. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna actually use my Adder Stones this time instead of uh, ignoring the fact that my health is low. These ball riders are like incredibly difficult to kill. Ah, another victory for me. <laughs> 
Keep note that the Thunder Spider has like 37 health or something, or how much ever I said he had. And it's almost dead from one attack. Please tell me there are no more ball riders here. I don't think they would be. Just archers, yeah. Hey, at least my luck's giving me some pretty good drops from these guys. What's- wait, oh, actually never mind. I was gonna say, what stunned that guy? And then I realized, oh yeah, I have the Thunder Spider, which is- Job is pretty much stunning enemies. Stop attacking the spider. No, the spider is. Let's focus on one of them. Kill one. Okay, there we go. But despite the fact the other one had like almost no health left. And we get the badger hide gloves. I don't know what that gives. I shall go check that. Actually, I think it gives strength. Yeah, it gives strength. No, not talent list. I want a token list. Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted some of the animal's strength and ferocity into the wearer. Tragically, they also smell very much like a dead badger. So you might want to read the description of the eagle charm because it's a plot item. This charm was enchanted by the trout Fnaf to aid him with his poor musicianship. Well, its new owner isn't much of a step up from a trial. Yeah, FNAF is um, actually the next boss, to spoil it. He's a bit of a challenge, actually. Because he has, like, his own personal army. Shut up, dog. I'm fighting legions of the uh, trial people. Are trials people? Probably not. I don't know why dual wielding gives these guys a whole lot more HP. Come on, kill him. Kill him dead. I like how the crone tries to help out in combat, and uh, he's killed instantly. At least I have enough MP to summon two instantly. Maybe the bodyguard will be more useful here. Because these guys do use ranged attacks. Now we get to this part. Oh, it's another one of these river guys. Welcome to Pisky's Magical Mafferman Transport... Transport... Transport thingy to the future! Oh. Excuse me? I don't smell anything. Wait! You're the buff! Right, my brother told me about you. What did he say? Oh yeah, he said the barb. Hey, cattle, what are you doing here? You know, Fnarf is looking for you. Fnarf rhymes with barf. <laughs> I can make up a song about you, too. Listen, I, uh, I don't have time for your ramblings. Perhaps you could just take me across the river. Taking the barf across the river, that was it. Hey, now, now what was the special barf deal? Seeing as I'm in a bit of a hurry, and uh, you're not in much condition to sail, why don't I just take that ferry across on my own? Oh, can't do that. Too danger, dangerous the Pisky River is for the novice. But since you're such a nice person, I'll take you over for free. Just don't tell my brother. Shh. Now, if you instead killed Kettle Swat and you're down here to uh, come kill Banafeet and get your song from him there, um, this guy will actually charge you 100 silver because he's not distracted by a kettle. You know, as the cat. Ship, I can legally marry you two if you want. Now be fearful as you get out, because the dock is made out of hickory wood and it can get slick if it's wet, which makes it a very slippery hickory dock. Okay, that's like the only joke that he has that's actually like pretty good. Judging by the fact that I edited a lot of this out, I'll be including this fight and then I'll be ending the episode. Well now, what have we here? I don't know you, but Kettle, my clandestine companion, when was the last time we saw each other? Well now, let's see. I was on my way to Houghton and... Oh wait, I remember! Yes, it was 
When you pilfered my prized possession, my exquisite eagle charm. It wasn't me, Snarf. It was this beggar right here who stole it. I was bringing him back to you when he knocked me over the head, took it from me person, and tied me up. Hold on a minute. I never saw this thing before in my life. I found it in Kettle's house when I came to take him back to Houghton. <sighs> the perplexing problem is, if I were to let you go, my fear of friends here would consider me a coward. You, you see, they, they might even get into their noggins the notion that they could take over this bloodthirsty band. So, we're going to bash your brains and purloin your property. Nothing personal, you understand. If there's one thing I hate, it's Kunal Trow with delusions of grandeur. Quick, cut me loose so I can fight! You, this game gives you an illusion of having a loop. If you say no, then he'll just say it again. If you say no for, uh, repeatedly, he won't. You won't you'll you actually get out of the loop, and, uh, nothing will happen, but... He's actually kind of a help, I believe. All right, Kettle, but don't betray my trust. Kill me! I'm right here! <laughs> okay, I need to, to pick off those rangers. Stay down. I'm going to get rid of the crappy swordsman first. You know what? Level up mid-fight would pretty much help. I don't know if it increases your stats or anything. Damage you can inflict with melee weapons. Uh, do I increase rhythm, vitality... You want, I'm going to get luck and then get critical strike. Wait, what? Why did it increase to 14? Okay. Allows the bard to train his dog in the fine art of combat. Normally I'd get heavy parry. Chance to score a critical hit on his enemies. Heavy parry is block and then immediately attack back, which is pretty good. But critical strike, I kind of want the extra damage. With my good luck stat, it should help. Ooh, there you go. Give my regards to the sheriff, you simpleton. <laughs> Kettle, of course, took the opportunity to run away. Was there any doubt, really? You'll know if you get a critical when it shows yellow. I'm not getting many crits, actually. I've got to go see a guy about the gelding. So, I'll suffer you to survive for now. When we assemble again, you won't find yourself as fortunate. Despite the bard's warm and shining personality, people continue to run from him like the plague. Perhaps he would one day learn that in order to keep friends near, a man such as himself needed to keep them tied up. If only I could find a sock big enough to put in that mouth of yours. Though Fnuff had escaped, the Bard had the unmistakable feeling that they would meet again. Of course, that's how these things always work. If they just stayed around and took their beating like a man for the first time, they'd save me a lot of trouble. And a good amount of experience. And loot, at that. Wait, did these guys respawn? They did. Stay down! At least I'm getting better hits due to my luck stat. I think that also works. So, remember that spot I said was useless? Yeah, I have to go back there. So yeah, the dog, in case you haven't noticed, is running off in that direction because the dog actually leads you to Kettle Swart if you don't know where he is. You can run, Kettle, but you can't hide. You would never have found me if it weren't for that mangy dog. Mangy? Well, there's the pot calling the Kettle Black. Or Kettle calling the Pot Black. Oh, uh... Just start walking. Just you wait. My brother Shaw will hear about this. Then you're going to get it. You'll see. He doesn't like people picking on his kid brother. Oh, no, sir. Shut your gob and stand downwind. You're making my dog sick. Okay. So now back to Houghton, and that's where I will end the episode. Oh, the crone can't heal herself. Okay. Haven't played for a while. I haven't played this game for years, honestly. So you're swine. Happy to see me. Just you try running again, and it's fodder for the fin folk you'll be. Now, about my reward. Reward? You're lucky I don't throw you in jail. So, no reward, then? Out with you. 
At least you'd experience you know, first. You keep coming around here, and pretty soon I let you stay. Permanent. Now be off with you. I don't know if you can actually re-enter the well with the trap maker. I hope you can, but I don't know. So there's now a quest here as well, which we need to talk to this person, which I didn't enter this for the first time because it's pretty useless. This is Ogan's mum. Remember that chosen one? You've come looking for my boy Ogan, haven't you? Of course you have. But it's gone he is, for he's the one. The chosen one, who free the fair princess from cruel bondage. And what do you suppose that means to a poor old woman like me? Why? Everything, that's what. For he's promised to come back, my Ogan, and take me away from this awful place and give me a proper house with glass in the windows, floors of wood, and a larder so full we'll never know hunger again. So, when you see him, tell him his mother loves him. Yep. If you break the news to them the right way, you get a you get a um, token. If you do it the other way, you only get experience. I've got some bad news, I'm afraid. Your boy was slain. Murdered by a trow. Oh no! Tell me it isn't true! Killed! I hope you avenged my boy. I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you, but I want you to know the ones that killed him, I cut him down where they stood. You avenged my organ. Thank you, thank you. I knew you were a good man. May your future journeys continue in good health. Here, this was a charm organ gave me, said it'd bring me luck. Why don't you take it? Yep. Rabbit's foot gives you plus one luck, I believe. So now I have 15 luck, which I'm only five away from the cap of 20. And with the other two luck tro luck tokens, I will be at 20. However, I do not know where the four-leaf clover is. It's like hidden somewhere really well. So I'll end this episode here. Um, hope you like this series, and hope you like the new quality of this. And I fixed all the problems in the first four episodes. Congratulations. By the way, this is being recorded before episode 4 is even uploaded. You're a dog after me, own art. And this treasury swords. See you guys in the next video where we're going to be doing more stuff in a Kirk wall. And why is my sword unequipped? Oh well. See you guys in the next video. Bye.